Taylor Swift, who's become the voice of the music community, was talking about um, uh, YouTube and how the payment system now on YouTube results in uh, eight hundredths of a penny for each right. performance. If her song is played a million times, YouTube sends her record company $800. Today, as a venture capitalist investor, as I sit in 2016, artificial intelligence and how it will transform content <clears throat> and the film business, augmented reality, virtual reality, and how it will transform the film entertainment business, 10 years from now, we'll have even more significant wealth creation, stockholder appreciation opportunities than what I believe we saw in social networks in 2005 and internet investing in I mean, 1995. When we do a radio station, we, we talked about this backstage, we're really companionship is the content we're offering. I'm your best friend sitting in that empty seat next to you in the car, keeping you company. And we build radio stations in the U.S. because we have an abundance of, of radio stations as a psychographic group. We find these people who cluster together and we create a format around it. The problem in is that as humans, we have to find the patterns in this that hold these people together. AI is much better at that than humans are. China as an opportunity to build entertainment applications entertainment media for Europeans or Silicon Valley startups. We're just beginning to see how enormous that will be. We know the high level numbers, of course, but the underlying growth that we'll see over the next decade, given that we have a generation of media consumers who are 20, who are consuming more media, it might be Facebook Live, it might be different forms, but they're consuming more media than ever before. You add into that China, what a wonderful time to be an entrepreneur in the entertainment and technology business. Mm -hmm.